By default, the CSS in a view component is globally scoped. That means, the CSS in one component can affect any other components in our application. To demonstrate, let's create a new component called childstyle.view. Inside the new component, we'll add a heading, then color it blue with CSS. Then, we'll switch over to the root app component and create an instance of child style. If we save and take a look in the browser, we'll see that both headings are blue, even though we didn't add a style for the root app component. View allows us to scope the styles in the style block to the current component only. To do this, we attach the scoped attribute to the style block. The scoped attribute will tell Vue that we want everything in this style block to only affect the elements in the current file. To demonstrate, let's add the scoped attribute. If we save the file and take a look in the browser, we see that the root app component's heading is the default black color and child style's heading is blue. If the style from a parent is the same as the style of its child, and both are unscoped, the parent style will override it. To demonstrate, let's add a style block to the root app component that changes the color of the heading to green. We'll remove the scoped attribute from child style to make the demonstration work. If we save and take a look in the browser, all the headings will be the green we defined in the parent. Typically, we style our apps with frameworks like Tailwind or per component styling. However, if we have a standalone or external CSS file that we want to add to the app, all we need to do is import it into the main.js file. As an example, let's create a file called main.css in the source folder. We'll do something simple, like set the body's background to black. Now, let's switch over to main.js and import our new CSS file. If we save and take a look in the browser, the background will be black. An imported CSS file will act as an unscoped style from the parent and will take precedence. As an example, let's add a rule to the main.css file that changes the heading color to white. In the browser, the text color will be white, confirming that the CSS file takes precedence over other styles. In the next video, we'll learn how one component can embed content in another with slots. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next one.